Welcome to Cut Down for Cruising. I'm so excited to start this journey. I am so excited that others are wanting to do this journey along with me. So we have formed a Facebook group, which is Cut Down for Cruising. Look for us on Facebook. And there's about 600 members, which is fantastic. So that means that I'm not the only one that's wanting to get healthy and have a better outlook on life and a better outlook in the mirror because um, there's a bunch of us now. So having that community and having some support in doing this is just fantastic. So what are we going to do in these cut down for cruises videos? Well, I will share my successes, my failures. Hopefully there's more successes than failures. I will share uh, my what I'm eating, you know, what kind of healthy meals can be put together, you know, what you eat on a daily basis. So, um, I know several people out there are doing like a low carb or a keto that doesn't work for me. So what I'm doing is a low calorie. So I'm trying to keep it between 1200 and 1500 calories a day. So really I can eat whatever I want as long as I keep it in those calories. But of course you can't eat big fattening healthy, I mean, big fattening meals or else you're going to exceed those calories. So I'm going to be eating things like oatmeal, um, granola bars. Those are my kind of go-to snack, fruit, salads. Um, and then basically what I, what I do is I eat like that. And then at dinner I have whatever we're cooking for the family. I just have a small portion of it. So if the boys want spaghetti, I eat spaghetti. I just don't get the big bowl that I used to get. I get a small bowl and I don't eat the garlic bread. So it's just things like that. So you can still eat what you want. You can still enjoy foods. You just eat smaller portions to get those calories under that, that 1200 to 1500 calories. I'm also going to exercise. Um, I know my favorite form of exercise is kind of a walking when I can go walking outside, I do. Unfortunately, it's summer in Louisiana and it's hot. So I try not to go exercising outside too much because I, I do tend to get overheated. When I get overheated, I get these massive headaches. So I'm going to be exercising inside. I have these great DVDs by Leslie Sanson. I'll leave a link in the description um, to her videos on Amazon. I've been using these videos for... Uh, probably 15 years now off and on because my weight has done this over the years I was very very thin when me and Jason got married. I weighed 98 pounds at my wedding Weigh a bit more than that now um, but I gained weight with each of the kids and then Had a surgery that kind of messed with me both physically and mentally and no matter how thin I get, I don't like the way I look. So I get thin, I'm happy, and then I look at myself and I don't like the way I look, so I reverse the process and gain it all back. And unfortunately, every time I gain the weight back, it's more than I started with. So over the last, since Cameron and Colby have been born, I, I, I've done this with my weight. So I'm at the point where I'm actually the heaviest I've ever been in my life, minus being pregnant and super unhappy with the way I look, with the way I feel. I'm tired all the time. I'm lethargic, don't have any energy. Doesn't help that I sit at a desk all day and don't have an active job, but that's where I'm gonna have to force myself into doing some exercise. So uh, let's get started. So it's lunchtime. So what are we gonna have for lunch that's gonna be healthy and filling and all that good stuff? So I, really, really like a good salad. So here's what I do for my salads, okay? Show you. I get the spinach and spring mix. So you'll see it's a good combination of the spinach leaves and the dark green leafy, not iceberg lettuce. Iceberg lettuce has zero nutritional value. I like cucumbers, and so I use about a half a cucumber per salad. You see I had one yesterday and this is my cucumber for today. Grape tomatoes. I just really like a good grape tomato and I just cut them in half instead of a big giant tomato. And then I go to the grocery store to the deli department and have meat, deli meat cut is uh, 
thick. So this is cut on a number four. Kroger will cut it a little thicker than that. And then I take it and bring it home and cube it and put it back in the bag where I've got fresh, good deli meat to include in my salad. So I've been trying different types of dressings and this is the newest one I've found. And it is a Skinny Girl brand, Honey Dijon. And you'll see right here on the label, see it says fat-free, sugar-free dressing. So let's look on the back at the nutrition and see there's only 10 calories. 10 calories, no sugar, only three grams of carbs, and it tastes good. Like I was kind of leery of something called Skinny Girl and it was gonna taste terrible. It's a really good dressing. So I've had all this from the, um, I bought all this yesterday had a salad yesterday but um so i'm going to show you what it looks like when i put it together okay here is my handy dandy plastic salad bowl i'm going to show you why i use this bowl in a minute but first let's add some greens and you can add a lot of greens there's very few calories in a, in greens so i almost fill the bowl up with greens because you can eat a lot of that. And look how pretty that green is. Okay, so I have taken my cucumber and sliced it up. So that's a half a cucumber. And about seven or eight grape tomatoes. Sliced all of those. Next for the ham. And then the dressing. That's a pretty darn good looking salad, isn't it? And now you want to see why I like my salad bowl? Okay. It has a lid. You put the lid. Clip it down. Shake, shake. So you're getting a little workout while you make your salad by shaking it up. But what's great about this is now look at the salad. It's all mixed and there's dressing evenly spread throughout the salad instead of the dressing just being plopped right on top. So that is going to be a good salad. I've done the breakdown of the nutritional value. This salad with this dressing is less than 300 calories. And you see how big it is. I mean, that is a big bowl. And it's, there's a lot of food in there for less than 300 calories because your greens have very, very few calories. Your cucumber is almost non-existent in calories. Your dressing is only 20 calories total for two tablespoons of dressing. I mean, come on, that's gonna be good. Okay, so I'm gonna have my salad with a bottle of water. This is gonna be a good lunch. Take my teeth out. Yes, I'm doing Invisalign. So I have to take my little tray out before I can eat. All right, let's give the salad a taste. Okay, so see, look at that bite. That is a good bite of salad right there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Very good. Yum. Okay, so it's the middle of the afternoon now and it's time for a snack because my salad was a few hours ago and I'm hungry. So I've been working. A lot of you have said, hey, let me see your office. So this is my office. And y'all have a spinner chair. <laughs> Are you dizzy yet? Okay, so snack, good healthy snack are apples. So I found at the grocery store, um, they're pre-cut and so they put something on them so they don't turn brown. You know, normally when you cut an apple, it turns brown almost immediately. So um, this is a variety pack of Red Delicious and Granny Smith and um, the yellow ones. I forget what they're called. 
So eight slices equals one whole apple. So that's what about 70 calories for a big apple. That's a really good healthy snack and I'm getting in some fruit. I know I don't get a lot of fruit so I'm getting in some fruit. So so far today I had scrambled eggs for breakfast, a salad for lunch, and a, an apple for a snack. And then Jason's cooking burger sliders for dinner. So see this is where it comes into um, quantity quantity <laughs> so instead of having two burger sliders which is what i would normally eat i'm just gonna have one gotta cut back somewhere and still have good food okay so this is the first monday of my challenge first weigh-in day and i am down five pounds i cannot tell you how excited i am i would have been happy with two or three pounds but to get five pounds off this first week is really fantastic. I can feel a lot of it was bloat. Like, you know, when you just gain weight and gain weight, you just kind of feel bloated and yucky. And so a lot of that was the bloat's gone. And Jason just told me, you don't look as puffy. Yay. So it's working. Five pounds the first week. Good morning, everyone. So it's time to exercise. And it's Saturday morning, I've got my water, I'm wearing workout clothes, and this is what I'm going to be doing. Can you see that? Yeah. So, over the years of my yo-yo weight loss, um, Leslie Sanson and her walking videos have been kind of my core workout. Um, they're easy to get started with, they're not too high impact but you burn enough calories with them to where you're really actually doing something. So this week, I'm in week two. This week I've gotten up early twice before work and done, this is a four mile workout. I've done one mile uh, twice this week. I know that's not much, but hello, baby steps. I need baby steps. So today, it's Saturday. I don't have to hurry up and go to work. I'm gonna attempt to do two miles today. So two miles is about a 27, 28 minute workout. <sighs> Wish me luck. I survived. I did both miles, two miles, 28 minutes to do two miles. Of course, it's not just walking. It's a lot more intense than just walking, as you saw. And I only showed you the beginning. So at the end, we got up to double side steps and light jogging <laughs> and things like that. So it's a good workout. So my goal is all of week three to do two miles every day and then when I get into week four tack on that third mile <sighs> but now I'm just gonna lay here on the floor for a minute underneath my ceiling fan and try and calm down and cool off and then go have some breakfast my face is still red from the uh, workout but I'm drinking my water see a big thing of water and it's time for breakfast so during the week at work I would normally eat like a package of low sugar brown hold on low sugar maple and brown sugar oatmeal it's like 120 calories it's very filling i normally eat around 9 30. it is 9 44 this morning but on the weekends i like to have scrambled eggs so i'm gonna have two scrambled eggs with a little bit of salsa i'm lucky enough right now to have some farm eggs because i have an uncle that has chickens so when i have farm eggs i'm gonna eat the farm eggs so let's make two scrambled eggs So 
it's time for some real talk here. All great plans do not always happen the way you want them to, or you expect them to, or you hope them to. Real life gets in the way sometimes, and that's what's happened to me. So, I did great the first few weeks of my journey, and I was eating really well, I was exercising, I was losing weight, things were going the way I wanted to, and then life happens, and um, stress happened in my life, and so basically what's happening is I I have three jobs. I have, I am a full-time uh, in the insurance industry, I am basically working between part-time and full-time hours as a travel agent, um, and then there's YouTube. So stress just kind of hit me and I've decided, me and Jason have had lots of talks to decide where my focus needs to go. And my focus has decided to land as a travel agent. So what does that mean for me? Okay, so it means I have to decide how I'm gonna spend my time Am I gonna completely walk away from my insurance job? What am I gonna do? So you can only imagine the stress that hit me and I stress eat, let's just be honest about it. Um, whenever you're stressed out, you don't want a salad. You want, you know, chips or candy or chocolate. Chocolate makes you feel happy. So I, I, I kind of started stress eating. Um, long story short, the decision had, was made in my mind, and then I had to talk to my boss about it, and Rob, if you see this video, thank you. You're an awesome boss because he's really worked with me in um, pursuing my, my dreams in, in what I love to do, and I love to travel, and I love to help everyone else in travel, and so I'm going to be going part-time in my insurance job. And so I can truly be a full-time travel agent. And Jason is taking over YouTube 100%. Yay, Jason! So that means I'll still, of course, record a lot of videos. The vlogging is still gonna be a lot me, but the editing, the posting, everything like that, the maintaining of our channel, Jason's going to do. So that means I can truly focus my time as being in travel and having a business of travel and I can help everyone more than I want to. So that was a hard decision to make because I've been at my job for 17 years. So making a decision to, I didn't want to leave. I love my job. I did not want to leave completely, but trying to find a balance to where I could still keep my job, keep what I do, but spend more time as a travel agent. So, like I said, my boss is awesome. He's helped me, uh, he's working with me on how we can do that. Needless to say, super, super stressful. No diets are happening <laughs> while I'm this stressed out. Um, the transition is happening October 1st. So that means I will be rededicating myself on October 1st back to my healthy lifestyle. So I'm not, I didn't quit, I didn't give up, I just had to decide um, what was more important to me at the time and focusing on getting my business straight, getting my life straight, and eating whatever was handy at the time kind of went out. So um, that's just kind of an update of what's happened with this whole cut down to cruising. It's not going away. It's going to be reinvigorated. As soon as we get back from our Alaskan cruise, which we will be home on September 28th, that week I will be starting a new chapter in my life. I mean, so many things are gonna happen that week and so incorporating exercise and eating right, that's just the perfect time to make a lot of transitions. So, um, Good news is I haven't gained any weight back. Um, well, okay, let me back that up. I haven't <laughs> exceeded the weight I started. I did gain a few pounds back. I lost, I think about seven pounds from what I was doing before. I've gained a few of those back, but I'm still not back up to my original weight, which is good. 
Um, I just have to find the time to dedicate. I have to exercise. I do not lose weight without exercise. I just don't do it. I know that really sucks because I don't enjoy exercising. Here's the thing. Once I get going with exercising, I will enjoy it. But I have to get to that point and I'm not there yet. So wish me luck. If you would like some support in your own journey, we have started a group called Cut Down for Cruising over on Facebook. And Ashley Hayes is helping me run that group. And she's fantastic. And she's doing a great job on her journey. And Tom is um, tracking everyone's process progress on the total weight loss for the group and the numbers are astronomical. So even though I haven't lost that much weight, our community has. So I think that's fantastic that even though I might not be succeeding in the journey that I want, I'm gonna get there. I'm not quitting, I'm not giving up, I will get there. But others are doing great and I love seeing that. I love that this is a great cruising travel community we're all supporting each other we're all working together and we're all going to get that healthy lifestyle that we all want so look for this the next video probably around the end of october with a new update hopefully i'll be down some weight by then and yay happy cruising bye